Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly spread. This will go, this will run into at September 14th through the 22nd, okay? So let's get into it. All right, um, I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. What else? Um, thank you to those who like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Uh, make sure you are subscribed, like it. Okay, that helps the video circulate. All right, so let's get into it. Cancer, I've got four cards here. How you come into the week is the Ace of Wands. Okay, so a lot of you are taking into account your own health, wealth, and happiness. Um, there is something that motivates you, that puts the fire under, that propels you to do, to start the doing in regards to something you are passionate about maybe something that involves an air of creativity or just a lot of doing putting the plans in place growing this growing it this by way of doing you know the the wands is the action action oriented it isn't standing still um it could be sexual energy also. Um, let's see what, what this is about. But how you are looking, the energy that you're projecting outward is one who is taking um, the initiative, the having the motivation to do. Okay? Um, could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, you know, that could be it also in your environment the energy around you the king of swords so you're getting very firm and strategic about the plan some of you could be speaking with lawyers uh, government officials someone who's official and someone who's very professional Someone who's an intellectual, smart, um, someone who's very good at planning, strategic. This could be your energy. This could be someone around you. Uh, this is typically um, Aquarius or Libra. It can be Gemini, but most times this is Aquarius or Libra. Um, you've come to a place where you're this person makes really good decisions and they're really just and fair because they wear the cloak the purple cloak the purple roll but then they also yield the sword so this talks about spirituality being connected um to intuition spirituality but also being logical rational and thoughtful okay so those those two things are marrying each other perfectly right now maybe in your decision making maybe in your environment what's helping you or who's helping you is the six of cups all right so nostalgic feelings of also what is helping you is uh something may be helping you make a choice it may be in regards to children. It may be in regards to someone from the past. Memories of is what I'm hearing is helping you. Or the fantasy of you may even be helping someone else. And this is bringing a situation, relationship, whatever, business partnership closer. Um, you're finding a sense of usefulness right where you are. And you're making the choice to you fill in the blank to do something different to do the same to stay where you are a choice is being made this talks about over analyzing or analyzing analyzing the the data and then you have the king of swords this is someone trying to make a choice at the end of the week this card flip over up right um you have justice you could be dealing with the Libra if you're not dealing with the Libra 
this is you getting good advice or giving good advice um this is a debt being repaid uh either you know literally someone owes you money or you owe someone else money or some other entity money and you paid it off or vice versa also debt being paid meaning the karmic debt where you felt trapped stuck to tied to has been lifted it's been released someone is telling you this may be in regards to children some of you feel like you're staying in a situation in regard because of the children and what friends and family may think but some of you are kind of realizing that oh, how I feel what I want what I want to go after does matter also at the end of the week you you're coming up with a, a plan of repayment or a plan of uh, of clearing the debt someone's been in a situation where it has been uh, a lot of obligation you've taken on someone else's obligation or life or you you have just been in that place where you just did and you just do and it's mundane it's monotonous it's um repetitive it's lack of feeling lack of love of thriving it's just stagnant energy of doing and now someone is at a place of saying you know what I've repaid my debt to this entire situation, maybe even a particular person. Um, or someone is doing this with you saying, you know, I want to repay the debt to the cancer. You know, uh, th we've been through a lot. I put them through a lot. Let me show them that they mean so much to me. At the bottom of the deck, you have some of you could be dealing with the Gemini, you have the lovers. So you have a life-altering choice. Once again, a six card. You have the choice of something that is you either met someone new or you you have reunited with someone, but now you have the choice of um, what to do in this situation. Um, you've been here before. The universe is saying that this is ordained. It, now they brought two people or two situations or a situation back to you what will you do what choice will you make it could be in career it could be in love most times the lovers does talk about love um, the universe did its part by way of bringing you to that situation or them to you whatever now you have free will what choice will you make let's see what choice what's the advice for the cancer and this heavy energy of, of choices 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 with this choice it's like neither one of the situation goes away so if you choose A, then B is still there, but you chose A. If you choose B, then you know A is still there. It's not like a decision where you have to make a decision of cutting out, of making an incision and then removing. But a choice is more so, um, I feel like it's harder because the other option is still there. All right, okay, this came out in reverse. Unity in reverse. Um, so for some of you, um, this could be about a marriage. And it's upside down. So funny is that these this deck, I was shuffling off camera for you. This is the Hierophant. The Hierophant came out in reverse for you in this deck. Um, so this is pretty strong. Some... Some relationship, maybe with a Taurus, doesn't have to be some traditional relationship. 
is upside down. It has been upside down. It is upside down. Now, universe is wanting you to make a choice. What are you going to do? It looks like spirit is here with you. you got two majors. What's the advice for cancer in regards to maybe a life altering choice? Nine of Earth. Wow. Free yourself. Be single. Spend some time alone. Yeah. Um, you can do it. You're stronger than you know. What's the advice for cancer? Eight of air. You're not trapped. You're not stuck. That is an illusion. Um, you can no longer be afraid to take action. Some of you may be feel stuck to an air sign. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Libra, Gemini coming up specifically, or uh, Aquarius. The Seven of Earth, it says evaluate this relationship, this marriage, this contract. Think about how you come off to others in regards to this marriage and or contract. Um, you, it could be with a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. You are just, you're once again, just doing. Evaluation is needed. Should you be further along in this marriage in regards to love? I'm, look, I'm here, lust, love, lust, hmm, uh, affection, um, Something is dutiful. Wow. I haven't used that word in forever. So somebody feels like they just, they're just fulfilling duties. Like I said earlier, a relationship of obligation. I'm just here because I, I signed up for this. and I want to see this through and I want to see it out. A uh, dutiful, a dutiful house. Did you want to be in a dutiful relationship? Last card, King of Earth. It could be that this is for my cancer males or cancer woman. You're dealing with a man who is in a dutiful relationship either with you or with someone else. Um, it says that whatever you want to happen here, cancer, it can happen. But it's about you taking action. What you've been in is untraditional um you may have relationships out inside of your marriage uh it, it has been where you have been acting single um you come off to the wor world you appear as a single man or woman you are single within a connection but now the um The cards are asking you to get strength at the bottom. That could be dealing with Leo. You are stronger than you know. It says break free, break free, break out of this. Um, let's leave you with a butterfly oracle card and close this out. Cancer, make the best decision in regards to you and what's best for you. Wow, you're stronger than you know. Some of you just don't feel like you can get out of this. Maybe adult children, young adult children, you want to wait until maybe your children were young adults before you did something or you are doing something or, I don't know, they're playing a part in this. They may pick up the energy to, of the situation. Anyhow, Cancer, I'm, I'm wishing you a really good week. I hope that everything goes your way. Don't be afraid to make a choice that best suits you in regards to maybe a marriage um, 
some long standing relationship, okay? Um, thank you. Take care. All of the links to reach me are below. Uh, once again, take care. Bye. Bye.